Hey guys, it's John here coming to you with yet another Disney Store review. And here I got for you today Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid. So let's jump right in and see if he's worth a purchase. Prince Eric's face mold. Let's have a look at that first. Um, like I said in my other reviews, these princes are quite old. They haven't really updated them. The Disney Store hasn't really updated them like they do the princesses, since they update the princesses like every year. Um, so these are quite old. I feel that it's a couple of years ago that they released these, or even, yeah, longer. So face mold isn't that great. I know with the new princes, they are doing the side eye glancing thing that they do with the princesses now, which I think do look a lot better than straightforward. Straightforward kind of looks really dull to me, and doesn't just looks like doesn't give it a lot of character. But face face mold wise, I think he looks decent. I think his face kind of looks a bit skinny compared to what we see in the movie. Side um, profile wise, I think he looks pretty great. Um, the hair mold, I think Disney Store could have done a lot better with the hair mold. They could have added a lot more uh, kind of lines because <laughs> Prince Eric does have um, kind of a nice head full, full of hair, so I think they could have done a lot more of that. But I'm kind of happy with how they try to do a bit around his face. Clothes-wise, he is wearing his kind of casual clothes. I do know that they released a Prince Eric early on with his Prince clothes, but then the ones they're selling right now is the casual clothes. So he has kind of a white silky blouse, I guess, that is tucked in to his pants. So the blouse is, or the shirt is a lot longer. I just tucked it in. Um, and he also has kind of a red belt that goes all the way around. And that is attached to the pants. And the pants is long, long and dark blue. And it is rolled up at the bottom here, which is accurate to the movie. He's also wearing really big fisherman looking boots, which have slits at the back, so they're easily removed, which are nice. So clothes-wise, he is wearing um, a very simple outfit, but um, it is very movie accurate. Articulation-wise, Prince Eric has rotating in the head, um, shoulder rotation, elbow articulation, None in the wrists, unfortunately. He has um, that area <laughs> articulation, so he can do the splits, he can s sit down, which is kind of um, limited by the pants, because they are a bit tight. And he does have the rubber click knees that um, are pretty much useless. They're really hard sometimes to do. So I don't know if you do buy this for a little child. I don't know if they'll be able to bend the the knees. So yeah, the princes are pretty much standing only. And he has no articulation in the feet, unfortunately. But the good thing about the princes is they do stand by themselves without a um, need for a stand, as you can see. Um, Comparison-wise with Ariel. Let's get Ariel up and close. Obviously I have her in her mermaid clothes, so she is not wearing heels, but she does have... Um, she is pointing her foot in the mermaid tail. So he is slightly... just slightly taller than her. There you go. Which is nice. And I think they look great together. Um, unfortunately... <laughs> Size-wise with Ursula, he is a lot bigger than her. She's supposed to be three times the size of Ariel and Eric, but I'll leave that comment for my Ursula review, which will be up hopefully in the next couple of days. So, Eric here. I think Eric is great. I think they can do a lot more with the princes. Um, hopefully they'll update them soonish with articulation and brand new faces, side glancing faces. Um, so until then, I'll see you guys soon. My next review should be The Beast. So stay tuned.